what is going on friends we're here with some laddering for a road top 10 yeah originally most of you guys wanted to see tournament games that is definitely going to be coming but my man ultra balls made an rmt um i was planning to use this team higher up on the ladder but since he already made his rmt now i don't want to wait till everybody knows this team this team has two versions one is with um specs high dragon the other version has mega gyarados um, and it's a bit better versus stall but since I'm still like I'm in the 1400, so I don't expect to face stall, so I'll use this version. Um, yeah, and I like her dragon. Since I already used Mega Gyarados on my road as well, that's also the reason why I'm using this version. Um, yeah, you guys can see it's Assault with Majorna. You can have a quick look at the team, but I'll pretty much be talking about the set. Um, Scarf, Tapu Lele as a revenge killer. And yeah, we got AV Majorna. I'm pretty sure this is a forums team that my opponent has from Finch, made by Finch. So, um, he doesn't have the best win-loss ratio. Um, so this is a Solvest Midjourner defensive land though. Pretty sure. A Mega Vino with Earthquake. Uh, if I'm scum, I'm gonna pause real quick and look up his team. <laughs> One thing. So you guys can see here, I have this team made by Finch and so I can look up all his sets. Specs Coco, Iceum, Kyrum, Scarf, Ladi. Vino has Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Earthquake. Okay, I was, I was just wanted to sh check if the Vino had like Leech Sheet. Standard Lander would, okay, would protect over U turn and the Solvest Majorna with HP Fire. Um, aren't you Dark Rich? Have fun, yeah. Okay, so this guy found out who I am. Basically, he knows me and I know his team, so I guess we have like. Yeah, let's just leave off with. I think Majorna. I think Majorna's a good lead overall. As he leads over Kyurem. So, this is the ICM set with. Um, does it have off power? That's my question. It does not. I only have HP5. Okay, okay. So, what I'm gonna do here is um, I'll. I expect him to go into Venusaur slash Landorus or his own Majorna. Um but I'll Volt Switch here. Yeah, he goes to his own that covered the the Venu and the Majorna. I don't think he would go land and risk risk the land on a Florican. Uh so what we can do here is we can run a calc real quick off quick kills this. I don't think off quick kills. I think the 75 to 88 from Lander, so it doesn't kill. Um, so what I'll do here is go to my Toxapex, and I'll just fire off a Scald. Um, there's not really a point in getting up a Toxic Spike when he has a Vino to absorb those. Let me click X on the OU room, it's just gonna irritate me if I look at that. So hopefully we can get a burn here, as we can get one nice. And... He might predict my lander here and go for him Paw Ice or Dazzle and Gleam. Um, I'll just go to my AV Majorna plate safe. I don't want to risk anything. Yeah, he goes for Dazzle and Gleam. That would have covered my lando. And that would have also hit my High Dragon. So I understand that play. And yeah, now I want to go for Flurkan because it hits the Landorus. If he tries to go Landorus on a Volt Switch. Okay, yeah, makes a nice mid-ground of going Venusaur. That's completely fine though. Um, I can just go to my Toxapex here. Uh, I can also go High Dragon, but I don't want to get poisoned on my High Dragon if he predicts that. So I'll just go Toxapex. Um, yeah, as I figured he would go for Sludge Bomb. And I'll just Scald again since I've already, yeah, like I've already burned his, his Coco, so he cannot really bring that in for free. And now I assume he's gonna switch out into a Ladi Coco or Kyurem, expecting my recover. Um, so what I'm gonna do is here switch into Tapu Lele, expecting the Coco slash um, Kyurem slash Lali to come out, and then I can just fire off a Side Shock here because yeah, that does more to assault as Majorna, and it kills the Coco if he stays in. So nice, get rid of the Coco. That is one threat out of the way. Coco could have definitely been annoying, and I'll just since he has no electric terrain. I don't think it's the end of the world if his Kyurem comes in, so I'll just go to my packs here. I expect the Volt Switch, it's pretty obvious. But since I'm Spadef packs, like I don't lose anything, I can just go to this. 
Uh, basically, it's uh, 7 a.m. here. I'm super tired. And yeah, I want to record some tour games for you guys later. I have a lot in the back, but not sure how much time I will have. We shall see. It goes in a lot. This is Scarf, right? I'm Scarf. I'm looking up every single set again. Yeah, it's Scarf, Draco, Sashok, Defog, T Wave. So I can either go to my Majorna here. He, he's probably gonna double into his Landris, to be honest. But I'll just go to Majorna here. He did not double switch, he just went for T Wave. Completely fine with me. Um, so I expect him to go into Venus or Landris here. Or his own Magiana again. Um, I think I want to Flurrican just in case he's actually he was locked into. Yeah, that was a misplay. That was a misplay on my part. Um, yeah, just in case he tries to go Landris, but like, um, now I got the slow Volt Switch here. He can Volt Switch into his Landris though. Yeah, yeah, I should. I think he's gonna Volt Switch into his Landris. I should have Flurrican again. I mean, if if I have Ice Beam here and I predict the Landris, then it will still do a lot. But he, I don't know if he knows that I don't have it. Yeah, yeah I knew he would make that play, but like, I realized it too late. Um, so what I can do here is I can go to my katana, but yeah, yeah, I can go to my katana here, and I can click Swords Dance. I'm expecting the Venusaur, something like that, to come out. And it goes in the Venusaur, and I can kill this with my plus two Z move. Exactly, that's what I expected. Um, yeah, Black Hole Eclipse blows this away. Um, Black Hole Eclipse is really nice for stuff like Mew as well. Especially for the version of this team that has Gyarados instead of Hydreigon. And I really want to defog here, expecting him to double switch, but like. Like he's in the back, he kinda has to double switch. But I think going at Toxapex is a good mid ground play. Um, no one goes for Psyshock there. Like that's an on play. Yeah, so he just Dracos. Um, so I could have gone to Majin and I would have been fine, but this works out as well. Um, what I can do here is. I can expect this Kyurem to come out, I can double back into my Kartana. Um, but I don't think I have to make that play, I think I can just go for Recover and be completely fine. He goes to Majorna. And yeah, I can just fire off a Skull here. Um, I can. I don't think it's worth it to get up a T-Spike. Because only Kyurem is alive, so like I'll just Skull and Fish for a Burn. Uh, I'm slower, so yeah, if he goes cure me, I do get the chance to burn it. I assume he's gonna go Lottie, but yeah, this game is looking, um, I'm probably gonna win it. He says, uh, GG, and he leaves. So, how much we do get, um, 19 points. The good thing is, um, since I'm still low on the ladder, I did not decay much. Well, I don't know if I even decayed at all, because, um, yeah, if you get high on the ladder, you decay way more. So that's, like, the only positive thing about, um... The only good thing about when I only ladder a bit at the beginning. But yeah, I'm not sure if I can even finish my road before Ultra Sun and Moon. Since like I have about 35 or 30 snake games in the back that I want to reno raid. Um, I'm probably not going to do all of them since uh, some of them are not... Like some of them are like um, with semi stall and the games take forever. So I probably won't do those games then, but I'll still do some of them with semi stall. But I'll cover focus on uh, shorter games. Is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this guy has uh, pretty shitty win loss ratio. But yeah, as a hyper offense type of team, so I think that's a better jump also. Um, so I can leave it. My Azelf or my Lily here. Uh, Azelf, I'm a Jonas, what I'm trying to say. And Volt switch out on this to break the Sash. Um, if he has Dazzling Gleam, that's gonna be scary. Like, I don't, I don't wanna have him lead with my with Azelf and have Dazzling Gleam and leave with my High Dragon and get blown away. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave with my Jonah. So it is with Coco and. I can go for Flurkan here. It does good amount of damage to Landris, and I think Majuna is gonna be offensive. As he does stay in um his life orb. And he does just I was about to say sack his Coco, but he eats. So now I wanna go for Volt Switch. But if he goes into Landris, he gets me, so. I'll just Flurkan again, yeah. 
And he paras me. That's a bit annoying. Um, maybe I shouldn't have stayed in there to let this get weakened. This was my um, this was an answer for his opposing for his Magina. But to be fair, um, if I go to Landris, Life of HPS is gonna do a fuckload. And my Landris is nice for his Zygarde, so like. It's not like I had the option, I had to let something get weak, and I'm pretty sure. I could have gone Pex. Uh, actually, what am I saying? I thought he had his Magina out, he had his Coco out. No, no, not Pex. What I'm trying to say is. Like, if I go Hydrating or Landris, my other, like. It had electric checks, then they get blown away by HPI slash Gedazzling Gleam, so there was no point in switching, yeah. So I can go High Dragon here and Fire Blast, or if he might U-turn. Um, I'm gonna go to my Kartana, it's the mid-ground play, because um, I don't want him to U-turn on my High Dragon, and I also don't want, oh fuck, he went for SD. Okay, now I wish that I went to High Dragon, because I could have Drago this into the next dimension. Um, so I go high dragon here, but if he Z moves, I'm in a bad position. Okay, yeah, if we get the prediction correct, and we have to run a cult real quick. If Specs uh, Dark Pulse killed, I think I have to go for Draco. So I went in the katana, they're expecting either um, a rocks or a U turn, something like that. High dragon versus Lando. Yeah, yeah, I have to go for Draco here. And we do miss our Draco Meteor, and. Now I probably lose the game. Um, I don't know if I lose, but it puts me in a bad position. Um, yeah, he was not Sash, he was Continental Crush, so that would have killed him. It does 160 minimum, as you guys can see here. And even if you had more HP than the standard land, you would have gotten blown away. So that sucks a fuckload. He would have gone to Majorna after, I assume, and tried to set up, or Azu and tried to set up, but I still had Katana to check Azu, and I have like packs to check Majorna, but that sucks a fuck lot. Like, I don't. Maybe I should have gone for Dark Pulse for like save damage. Nice then by my play, and yeah, now I'm in a big. Now I'm in big trouble. Lily cannot even Oko this. Uh, I don't think Katana can Oko him either with Leaf Blade, so. Now I have to let Milano get weakened, which opens up his Zygarde. Amazing. I love hacks. So I have to go for him par ice. Yeah, I don't think I have another play. And yeah, I mean... Yes, I could have potentially just Dark Pulse there to get safe damage off, but... My Kamaha Dragon would have been nice in this game, I feel. Um, I'll just HP ice again here. Um, should I get rocks up? I don't think rocks are that important. So I'll just HP ice again here. Mm -hmm, he goes Azelf. We do break a potential Sash. So expecting him to go for rocks, I want to go for U-turn here. But I need this... Okay, few, okay, few. I was about to cancel because I will need this to check Zygarde. But since I'm already weakened, it's tough to check Zygarde with this. And yeah, now I can go to my Scarf, type Lily here and click Psyshock. But yeah, this is rough. Um, now you can go in his Magirna here and give me problems with that, and I think I'm forced to go hard into my Toxapex. Since my own Magirna is parallel and weakened already, I don't think that's I'm um, gonna be able to check him. So I assume this is gonna be a Z move Magirna or leftovers. And cause, yeah, oh no, no he should he probably should have Z move. It is early in the morning, you guys. You have to understand. Like I literally just woke up um, like an hour ago. This is um, yeah, lefties are Shuka then because he showed Z move on Lando already. Yeah, I'm tripping. So I just have to fish for burn here. Okay, he's Volt Switch. So is he AV? Why is he AV in the Hyper Offense? I mean, okay, it's understandable. It's understandable he's kind of weak to stuff like Specs Coco. But why is other the Switch in? Hopefully this gets punished. Nope, no justice. So this is either Bandit or Belly Drum. I think my play here is always to go to Katana. I want to keep this healthy. And if he Belly Drums here and I don't get the burn, I stay in him in a really bad position. Um, to be fair, I could have gone for Haze there. Yeah, Haze would have been a good play there, but if he's, I, th I still, yeah, Haze would have been a good play, but I thought if he, he's banded, then switching would be a better play. Um, but yeah, now I have to leave Blade, and Aqua Jet is not going to kill me anyways. Um, it's going to do around half, okay. Yeah. Yeah, if I make any misplays, oh, it's really early in the morning, like I said. But God, this is embarrassing. Why did I make... <laughs> I mean, I didn't really make any misplays, right? I just... 
They get made by maybe. Ah, I don't think I made misplays. But yeah, this is. Uh, I don't really need katana, so I think I can just go for the Z move here. Um, wait, is Leaf Blade stronger? 90 plus um, 45 is. Yeah, the Z move is a bit stronger, so I go for the Z move here. I don't think it will kill him. I think it will do like 85. Yeah, okay, 72. That did enough. I think I can check set my Majorna here. Um, maybe I should have stayed him because what if he DDs again? But yeah, I figured he wouldn't DD again. Um, so if I go Lele, it's a speed tie. So my better play is going Landers here and just click HPIs. I don't think there's a reason to click Earthquake because. HPS hits his Lando in case he wants to switch, and he's not gonna go Majorna on the Lando. And since he already has Z move on Landris for a second, I was worried again about his Z move, but he already used the Z move, so I don't have to be worried. Oh yeah, did you guys see that? The thing that there might be, we might be able to use two Z moves in the next game. That's thing, that's crazy as fuck. But yeah, if that thing becomes, if that becomes a thing, Simone is gonna ban it anyway. Um, I don't think he can kill me, so oh he can off quit me, so. I don't think that kills though, so I just HPIs. And that that wouldn't have killed me. I don't know why he's. I don't know why. He, why didn't you earthquake? I mean, it's a little ladder, I guess. And now I go hard on Toxapex. Okay, so we should still win this game. Even though I missed the, the, the Draco earlier. I'll just go hard Pex because I don't want to give him a boost. Yeah, I can still lose to this. It's, major, uh, it's a Majorna, so like if he like T Ball Paras me or something. Oh, he's Volts, which he doesn't have T-Ball. Okay, yeah, I should have this game then. So maybe we can start looking for another one. I'm just happy that we didn't lose this. The Draco miss was super annoying earlier. Get some more offense, okay. Web's offense is annoying as fuck to play against. Slash rank. So this guy's just trying to freeze me, but I have Ice Beam. So I would thaw out and he forfeits. So this other guy here, as we are in the 15th. Not in the 50, we were 1462. The other guy here is. has a trash win loss ratio, so. Let me just use my brain and it should be fine. Um, I think I can leave with Cartana here. I don't think there's a point in SDing. No, there is a point in SDing. Because even if he anchors me, I have yeah, I can go for my Z move here. But I don't, maybe I should have I should have just leave played it, because I crit him down to his sturdy. But now I think I'm still locked into Earthquake, right? Into SD. Yeah, yeah. So this was a misplay on my part. He finally gambits me, but my encore ends if he doesn't have anything. Like, well, how does he even kill me? Yeah, he has to go into his uh, Lopani. So maybe I shouldn't have stayed in there, but... Now he's forced to go into his uh, Lopani. And that what I can do is I can go into my... Um, into my Landorus, and I can double back into my Kartana. But he goes to Dragonite, so he gives me a free Defog here. Now I can just Night Slash. Hmm, this is really weird. Does Night Slash kill? I don't think it does. Um, I have like 204 attack on this only. I'm not sure what the spread is for. I have like 48 in HP. Um, I don't think Dragon Knight dies. Night Slash. Yep. No, I wish I had Smart Strike. Wait, why does it... Oh, okay, I'm at plus 6. Yeah, 2 it KOs him. So, Sky Strike at plus 1 obviously blows me out the window. Um, I think it's smart to defog. Like, as much of a threat this is, I think I don't. I think I need these hazards gone. As he fire runs, that's completely fine. Nice. So the hazards are gone, and he cannot set them back up. And he didn't even drag Nance up. So if High Dragon kills him through Sturdy, I can go High Dragon on Draco here. I'm completely fine. I thought he would DD up and like be a threat to me, but he didn't. 
Uh, Draco has a chance to kill, a high chance to kill. I don't want to risk that though. I think I'll just go Landorus here and. I think I'll just U turn. Yeah, yeah, U turn is completely fine here, right? Because Tabo Lily should be able to kill this up when multi scale is broken. Tabo Lily, or you just Garf. Uh, Moonblast kills him, but no multi scale, I think, after U turn, yeah. He earthquakes. What the fuck? Why? What? Okay, so this is the low ladder. They just want to donate some points. I mean, it's a roll, but it's heavily in my favor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. Like, he could have set up a dragon and been a threat on my Cartana. Um, yeah, default might have been the wrong play, but I figured since I have Intimidate Land on the back, um, like, I was willing to sack my Lando. And I have still have my um, Toxapex to check his Mimikyu. And getting rid of Hazards is just super nice overall. Um, so what I can do here is either Moonblast. Or I can go to my Majorna. I don't necessarily need my Majorna healthy, so I'll just go Majorna here and go for the slow vault. Okay, now I'm gonna go for Iron Head since he calm minded. So I completely um, agree with my play of going hard to this. Yeah, this works out. I think I can start looking for another one. This is gonna be a lot. Oh, fuck all the pummeling. It's gonna be like, oh, never mind, that did nothing. What the f. Okay, AV Majorna, the god. So I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna forfeit soon. Um, I have. There, oh, he crit me. Never mind. When you talk too soon, you get crit. Um, this is why you don't talk too soon. Fuck. But let me ignore spectators and everything. Yeah, this guy is like a balance-ish team, but uh, this is a bigger of a bit of a threat. Um, this is definitely annoying. So when you talk too soon, they crit you. But I'll just go Lily here and Moonblast. Okay, this other guy also doesn't have the best win loss ratio. Um, how do I lose this game? I don't see myself losing this since I have Scarf Top of Lily and Yeah, Bishop Bishop is a bit of bit of a threat. If he goes Bishop, do I switch or do I attack? If he goes to this, I always go Pax. No, no, I always go Lando, I think. I just U-turn. Um To break the disguise. Um and I think Sasha kills with the disguise being broken. Um, Mimikyu. Okay, Psychic does 84, but how much does Sasha do? I gotta be careful that I don't forget about the other game. Sasha does 94 to 111. Um, so. Fuck. Sasha does a roll to kill, so this is tough. I think I can go to High Dragon here. But yeah, in this game... I think I can lead out my Toxapex. See, leads out with the NC, so I can just go for a Scald in that game. Um, how much does High Dragon do to... Uh, Mimikyu? I'm pretty sure High Dragon kills him. Actually, no, 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 he has good Spadef. I forgot about that fuck. High Dragon... Yeah, it doesn't kill him. If he Z move, my Mimikyu would die. So I think I have to go on the top of Lily here and click Psy Shock. It's a roll. And we get the roll. It was lucky. But now he can go Bishop and set up. So maybe that wasn't the wisest decision. So what I'll do here is go Hard Hydrating and click. Uh, Fire Blast, as ho he might be like some Sash, that's a problem if he's a Sash Bishop. Hopefully I can connect this. He's not Sash, so phew, 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 we're completely fine here. And yeah, in this game I'll just click Scald. He protects, this guy's protected Yancey in 2017. I wanna go for Toxic Spikes here, expecting a switch, but I have no reason to risk that. I can just try to get a burn on something. I figured he might go into his uh, man time, but he didn't. So we get a burn on the Tangers, which is nice. Um, I can go for T-Spikes here, if he goes into the anti, that's a good play, but he doesn't. So now he's forced to default with his Mentan eventually, unless he wants to get this and this poisoned. And this guy forfeits, so nice. It's doing, this team is doing pretty well. Um, yeah, we are gonna at least get one more after this. I hope we can go undefeated. Um, yeah, we can just spam Scald. Um, actually, I shouldn't have made that play. I should have doubled there, anticipating his Mantine switch. If I should, if I doubled into Cartana, there would have been in a good position. 
Um, why am I lagging? What I'll do now is go to Majorna here and click. Uh, I want to double out expecting his power on. So I go to High Dragon here as it covers the Hippowdon and the Celesteela kind of. Because I have Fire Blast to do a lot to Celesteela. And I can go for... I really want to go for Flash Can, but I'm going to go for Dark Bolt. Um, yeah, since he has an AV Tangros, he had no reason not to go to it. Um, I was like trying to hit his DNZ and I wanted to go for Flash Can, but it's fine. And we go back to Pex here, and we're just gonna scald here in case. Okay, he goes to DNC. In case if he stayed in there, I would have tried to scald. Um, that does a fuck ton. Okay, so we get a crit there. That doesn't really matter. We don't get the burn. Um, so I'm gonna go to my AV Majorna here. It's gonna take a good chunk from off power. He moonblasts pretty Malando. No drop. Uh, now I want to double switch here, but in case he stays in, I'm just gonna iron head. I should have double switched. But like it's low ladder, like these guys are dangerous, so like I have to be a bit careful with doubling. So now I can go to my katana here, and if he goes for rocks, I can just defog. Um, I should have played way more aggressive. Um, I should have doubled on the manta, and that would have put me in a p perfect position earlier. But because I, I could have SD on his manta, and if he decided to defog, I could have put a lot of offensive pressure on him. I'm gonna go to my toxapex here. I assume he's gonna lead Cheetah Flamethrower. He earthquakes and he's offensive and I die. What the fuck? Okay, so this is actually threatening now. Um, so what I'll do is go Hydra Dragon and Fire Blast. Okay, fuck, I can lose now. I did not see that one coming. Why did I do 66 though? Celesteela. What the fuck? Toxapex. Uh, let me look at my spread. 367 in H in defense. Oh yeah, I'm way less fist death. It's like spit death. Three sixty seven. Um so let's say earthquake. Uh let's say he's max attack jolly or something. That does nothing. This has to be like banded. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Fire Blast just in case. Fuck! <sighs> just in case he goes into Fire Tangrowth again. I have no good switch ins. Uh, I think he's gonna off power here. I really wanna stay in here breaking his off power. Cause my Majorna is so obvious, but I don't think I don't have the bolt. <laughs> okay, if he would have um had gotten the fire flash fire boost there, so that might be a good play on his part. That covered that covered me staying in that card on Majorna. So yeah, I got destroyed there. To be fair, I don't think I had a good play that covered the Chandelure, so that was just a good play on his part. But you yeah, know, I get the dark bolts here. Yeah, he has Manta and it walls me. Um, so now I go Cartana and SD up. Fuck. I should have played this way more aggressive. Now I'm in a shitty position. But who runs Max Attack? Who runs Choice Bandit Celesteela? That has to be Choice Bandit. Like, what? This guy's Choice Bandit Celesteela. 58 to 69. The fuck? Um, so he's either gonna go Steela here or he's gonna Scald. Actually, he's Defensive Steela. So yeah, I hope he just doesn't burn me. Yeah, since he's offensive stealer, I think he's gonna die to this. Like, I don't, I, I don't think I can switch out here. I just, I just have to hope that this kills. Since he's offensive, I think it does. Um, it's not like I have a play here. Like, if I switch out here, like, what am I gonna go to? Yeah, I can go to High Dragon, but like, does he even have a move to touch Cartana because he's banded? I guess he might still have a fire move. Like, he might be mixed. Good God, this. I regret playing so passive around earlier when I had T-Specs, I should have double on the man and few it kills because he's offensive. But we're still in a tough position because his DNT is a threat if he off powers my Majorna on the switch. I really want to go on the top of Lily here because I don't think Moonblast kills um, Kartana. 
DNC. Like, I don't think he can afford to go for Moonblast here. Moonblast doesn't kill. And I have some HP, but he doesn't know that. So I want to go on the Lily here, anticipating to go for off power. And if he goes for Moonblast, that would hurt. Yeah, he goes for off power. We can eat that up. And now I can go for Psy Shock here. The only problem with Psyshock would be that Hippowdom walls it. But I want to go for Psyshock because it does more to Assault West Tangros. But he has Protect, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I want to double into my Katana here, anticipating his Hippowdom. So I'm going to do that. As he stays in. Fuck! See, the low ladder is dangerous. I don't know if he predicted me. Like, I don't know if he predicted that or if he just clicks random buttons. That's the problem here. And... He could have. Oh, now he crits me. This guy's bad. Nah, like he could have gone for. He could have gone for uh, a moonblast there, predicting my landers. I guess I got played there, but this was this was fucking embarrassing. Good lord. Like I get mad when shit like this happens. Like okay, yes, you stayed in. Okay, but this crit just sucks a lot. Like what? I'm <laughs> this puts me in such an annoying position. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hard attack him. Just in case he tries to go hard into the NC on a SD. Um, I actually want a Night Slash. Okay, it worked out. He off quakes. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck, I'm gonna defog. Fuck, I'm so annoyed. I think he's gonna knock off here, but like... <laughs> Why did he stay in with his DNC? I, I guess he predicted me, but that was an unplay now. So I'm gonna have to dark pulse here because Fuck Because he has a fucking chandelure, I cannot fire blast. Fire blast might have killed him with the burn. Like what do we even do? I lose. She has hip on as low. So I can click psychic here. Yeah, I can still win with Scarf Lily, but like oh my So he sexes hippo and now he's gonna go mantine. He's gonna be able to wall me. I should have Psyshock there, I guess. But it doesn't really matter because even Chandelure would have still taken a hit. Um, I go Katana here. Pretty thing like an off quick or knockoff. And burn plus sandstorm burns him down. And now he's gonna go for hidden power ice. So I can. I can go back into my top of Lily. If he if this guy goes for off quick, I swear to Okay, phew. So he does make that play, we predict that correctly, and now we can go for side shock here. And if I kill this. Um since the rain is the lot man time will take a lot from side shock. I don't know if it two KOs though. I that yeah. I have I have my myself to blame. I shouldn't play optimal at the beginning. Could've played more aggressive and put myself in a better spot early on, but who the fuck predicts Bandit Celestila? Like, if he didn't have Bandit Celestila... I mean, to be fair, um, it would've been harder to kill if it wasn't Bandit. But also my packs wouldn't have been dead. And he disconnects, so... I don't know if it's, it's, it's bad internet connection or if he decided to give up. Um, and if I played as well, I think I can win with Scarf Tabu Lele, but the problem is his Chandelure is still healthy. So his Chandelure can still take a hit. His Mantan is still healthy. Um, but yeah, the Envy or Tangrowth are both in range. As he's back and he has 40 seconds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back. I think it was just in the net. Man, I really wanna go undefeated because this is my man Ultra Ball's team. He peaked number 7 on the ladder with this team. And... Oh, never mind. He didn't reconnect at first, but now he reconnected. I was like, what? Why is he so low? But yeah, he goes hard man time, which is a misplay. But... It's a roll, so I really hope I get this roll. Um, that would be lovely. He makes a misplay and loses his Mantan. I don't agree with his play. Um, so I think he's gonna go for Earthquake here. I really wanna go on the Landris, expecting that, but my Landris is... Nah, I go Landris here, yeah. It's, it's risky, but like, I don't think he's gonna HP Ice. Why? Why? Like, HP Icing, yes, it is a fine play, but why do you have to crit me? That doesn't kill. Dude, these players are so fucking lucky. 
Like, if you don't crit me there, I can get my rock. I can off quick or get my rocks or U turn to get chipped. Like, what is this bullshit? Now he's not in range from my Tabu Lily because of that bullshit crit. Now, this guy is. Like, yeah, congrats, you get the play correct, but you crit me. Like, if you didn't crit me, you'd have been bobbed. Like, what is this bullshit? In Pi, this 57 to 68. This guy got a crit max roll. Like, what? How much does a crit do? Yeah, crit does 101. Amazing. You got the max roll. Crit max roll. Amazing. Yeah, super. Nice. <laughs> so I can either go to Katana and go for a Night Slash. I'm gonna go Kartana here. I'm gonna Night Slash and... I think I lose to his Chandelure here, I have to keep this. Fuck, I have to keep this, this was a misplay! Fuck! Yeah. Like, I didn't play Optimal, but this kid also locked me, so like, I'm fucking mad now. This game is some... Bullshit, good lord. Um... So I go top a little here, I click Psyshock, but I think I just lose. Two. Yeah, I lose to Chandelure now. It doesn't make a difference though, like even if I go Majorna here, and even if I place him to go into his Chandelure and I Volt Switch on that. Um, yeah, I lose to Chandelure! So, amazing. Yes, I did not play Optimal, yes, I do understand this, but... This guy, um, got a crit on my thing. He got a crit on my um, Jenna. Um, if he specs, I'm pretty sure this dies anyway to Fire Blast, but yeah. He also got a crit on my Lando. Plus, I misplayed a bit, but this is some bullshit. Um, pretty sure he's just gonna off quick here. Um, if a crit kills, maybe that's my play to make. I don't think I have a play though. So yes, I didn't play optimal, but I feel like I could have won this without hex. A uh, crit doesn't even kill. So I have to go Magenna here and then I die to Earthquake. Oh my god, this guy tried to choke and got rewarded! Oh my fucking god! Why did he try to choke? Okay, now I'm so mad that I didn't go for Psyshock because Psyshock 2 it KO's Chandelure. Yes, you can say he outplayed me, but like. No, no, he tried to choke. Choke. There was an unplay. Dude, he had. You have the win 100%. Why are you trying to choke? Yeah, I should have I should have banked on a choke. Um, yeah, so now I just have to hope for like miss, but it won't happen. We live on one percent, but it doesn't matter. Um, maybe Sasha kills this, but I don't think it does. Fuck! I should have gone for Florkan. How much does Sasha do without a crit? Fuck! So I think I'd have to crit his Tangros to win. I have to crit his Tangrowth now. Actually, it's too healthy because of region. Yeah, so I misplayed. At the end, he tried to choke. If I Flurkend there, I won. Actually, no, it didn't matter if I Flurkend. Yeah, his Tangrowth is too healthy to get crit. So now I can still crit him, I guess. Well, I, maybe I have to flinch him. Has a 30% chance to flinch. Let's go, Majuna, let's go. Flinch him, flinch him, flinch him. Yes! Okay, phew, we can win, we can win, we can win. Okay, how much does can do? <sighs> Majuna. I know, I know I didn't play optimal, but like, this was some bullshit, dude. Flurkin does 33. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Please get the roll, please get the roll, please get the roll. Yes, yes! <sighs> okay, so I played this game like dog shit, and I did not deserve that win, but phew. 
Whew, we got bailed out with a flinch at the end. Oh my god. Okay, one more game. And oh my god. Whew. Ooh, holy shit. I would have been so mad if I lost that game. Like that made up for the HP I screwed. I don't care what anyone says in the comments. Like, maybe my hex made it a bit more. So this guy is 1560. He's an interesting Lopani squad. Um Merrick is a threat for sure. But yeah, I don't lose much from leading Lando. This is gonna be the last game. I just hope we can go undefeated. We are um 22 and 1 at the moment. Oh god, that was fucking Like I know I didn't play optimal, but like God Damn Avi Majuna's a fucking god. That mon lift the flamethrower from his from his channel so he was not specs, I think he was scarf. So maybe he didn't try to choke then if he was scarf. I, I still don't like his play. So he leaves with Keldia here, um I was about to say he can try to double on my pack, so I was like tempted to stay in there, but it's turn one, so like it's hard to tell. Um, I'll just go High Dragon here. He's either gonna Shadow Bone or SD. He goes for Rocks, so this guy's on fire. Um, I really want to Fire Blast here because it hits the Bulu and it hits the Celestealer. He should not go into Keldy on a potential Draco. He should go into Bulu or Celestealer. As I do hit my Fire Blast, amazing. So I assume he's gonna protect here, so I'm gonna Fire Blast again. Um, I really want to double here on his Keldeo, but damage on Keldeo is nice to have, so I'm just gonna Fire Blast again. Oh, he goes Latios, okay. And we miss. Fuck! So my Majorna is really obvious here, so I'm gonna Fire Blast again, expecting a double. Like, my Majorna is just right here, so like he should not. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he makes a nice double into Merrick though, because that covers me going for Fire Blast. We wish I hit that Fire Blast on the Lottie. Um, but we beat this one on one, so we can just Fire Blast again. And we get a crit. I'm sorry, my man. That sucks. That sucks a lot. But I beat him one on one. Because he ha he only has like Shadow Bone, uh, Flare Blitz. Like, he cannot hit me super effective. Um, he can. He doesn't have a good double for my picks. He can double the Steeler to get his health up, or he can double to like Bulu. But he just goes for Secret Sword. So what I'll do here is get up a Toxic Spike. Um, hits those three months. It's definitely worth it. Even though I kind of want to defog. He might be tempted to defog if I get up a T-Spike. Um, if I Skull Tank got a burn, it would have been amazing to be honest. Um, so he might leave CT. That's why I want a hard Skull to try and burn this. As we don't get the burn. So he's getting all his health back now. That's really unfortunate. Can't protect here for sure, but I'm not gonna predict it. I'm just gonna spam scald. As we do not get the burn. Okay, one more scald. And he does protect. Can I get a burn? I mean, I got a hit. I had a crit on his Marag, which sucked. So I got my revenge hex. On the other guy, I got my good flinch on Tangrens, and then I also got some hex. So I definitely cannot complain about hex. Um, but I'm not getting the Skull Burn, and the Celestial is getting healthy. Um, I'm gonna switch out here. Actually, no, let's not go High Dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna recover here. Like, I wanted to go High Dragon in case he has Earthquake, but like... No, Earthquake is not common. Like, just because the one guy had Bennett Steeler with Earthquake. Not everyone has it. Um, so now I'm gonna go Majorna here. The worst thing you can do is trick me. Psychic does nothing, and I get a slow Volt Switch here for Momentum. As I assume he's gonna go to the Celestina. If he stays in, that's completely fine. Um, yeah, I feel like I can win this game for sure. Um, the only game where I didn't play Optimum was the last one. He defogs, completely fine. So we do, we do get information, he's not choice locked. He's probably Scarf Keldy or maybe Z-Move on the Lottie. So we can go on a top of Lily here. We can click um, Psyshock here. Um, Sashok does a lot to stuff like Celestila. He goes into Bulu. Um, so I was thinking about Psychic because it does more to Bulu, but I didn't think it would go hard to Bulu. Uh, what I'll do here is go hard Hydra. If he goes for auto pummeling, this guy's a god. 
But I don't want to go Toxic Packs, have him SD up and then destroy me. Um, better play would have been going hard Katana to be fair. But this play worked out. And I can go for Flash Can here as a mid ground. He's not gonna go Salus Dealer when I already showed him. And I don't want to risk missing. And in case he, just in case he went Lottie, I wanted to Flash Can. Kelly was obvious there, but like. I don't feel like predicting. I'm in a really good position in this game um, since I liked his Marowak. <laughs> that sucks a bit for him. But I also didn't get a score. Yeah, to be fair, I used Scald a lot on his Steeler. I never burned him and now he got the burn, so Hex kind of evens out. Um, so let's get T-Spikes back up. I definitely want to go on a top of Lily here. Um, but Majuna is the safer play, let's not risk it, yeah. He goes Stellar Stealer, he makes a nice double there. Um, but this is EV to be slower than um, Stellar Stealer. Is it not? What? No, no, it's, it's slower than Stellar Stealer. I think, so I can get a slow Volt Switch here. Uh, in case he went for Lee there, I get a slow Volt Switch, it would've been amazing. He goes for Flamethrower, which is a bit annoying. Um, so I can go Kartana here and click my Z-move. So I want to calc real quick if Kartana kills him with the Z-move. I should have imported the team at the beginning. It was my bad, guys. Yeah, um... How much attack does this have? 450. And let's say standard Seller Sealer, defensive. And let's say Light Slash up Z-move. Good god, I'm getting heated up in this episode. Why the fuck is it? Okay. Yeah, Black Hole Eclipse killed him. <laughs> but I think going High Dragon and Dark Pulsing is overall the better play because... If he goes for Protect and my Black Hole Eclipse, it might be a bit annoying. I think Celestia would have been a fine play. Uh, not Celestia. Katana would have been a fine play as well. But yeah, if he goes into Keldy now, he has to get poisoned. If he goes into his Bulu, he has to get poisoned, and if he stays in, he dies. So, yeah, that's fine. You get rid of an annoying one, because Celestia can definitely... Since I didn't get the burn, it could have been super annoying. Um, it could have gotten his health back. He goes Lopani, he gets poisoned. Um, I can go Lando or Pex here. I feel like I only need Landorus for Lopani, so I'll go Landorus. This is the Leftovers variant. I'm um, definitely a big fan of Leftovers Landorus because... Um, yeah, you want to stay healthy for stuff like Zygarde and tell them Aerith doesn't make helmet contact. Um, so he's either going to go to Lottie here or he's going to return. I don't think I'll lose anything from clicking u turn here. Power Punch, Ice Punch is rare, but if he's dead set, congratulations, you got me. Yeah, he just Power Punches again. So u turn is completely fine here because I can go into my Scarf Lily and I can click Psychic. Oh, uh, Sashok is better, I think, because it does more to Lari. Yeah, yeah Sashok is better because it does more to Lari. Uh, I also could have clicked Moonblast there. I don't know why I had to click Sashok. Yeah, yeah, Moonblast would have been the best play. Not sure what I'm thinking. For some reason, I thought he still had a steal, uh, his head of steal alive. Um, yeah, if I click Moonblast there, he couldn't have been able to make this play, but it's fine. We are in a super good position. We can just go to Magenna, get a slow volt switch. And yeah, we should have this game in the bag. Unfortunate crit on his Marowak, but in the long run, I think I had this game anyway. And we can just click Floor Can here. In the vaults, which is fine as well. So we should be able to go undefeated in this episode. Um, as we do miss, but it's completely fine. Now, I think we're gonna get one more. I'm gonna make this a super long episode. Um, yeah, let's get one more. He goes Bulu, this is potentially gonna live, but it's gonna do a lot. Yep. So we just go hard katana here. So he's either gonna hold your SD. Super if he's super power is a good play, but I don't think it kills. So what does he do? He just Yeah, he's super power is a good play, but like I said, we eat that. Um This guy's an annoying team with Magnuson. But 
since like I'm just used to using solo stealer, so I was like, what if he has, what if he traps my stealer? But this team doesn't have a stealer, so what am I saying? But yeah, I can just click Leaf Blade here. Kelly gets blown away, and this guy doesn't have the best win loss ratio, but I don't want to underestimate him. Um, yeah, I'll just leave my packs here. I assume he's gonna leave a land or all the anti, but overall packs is fine. Oh, I also added no, no, this is Kanto Edge, right? Yeah, this is Kanto Edge, but why does he have a drill? Usually, there's a different one in this spot, but I'll just scald here. He's Scarf Greninja, so we get early information about him. What is Greninja? So, the zone is either AV or spec. I think it has to be AV. Um, we'll now be able to. Yeah. The reason why I didn't T spec there is because. I was fearing that he is. I was fearing that he was a uh, taunt Greninja. But yeah, let me cock if that's assault vest damage. Because if it's not assault vest and it's specs, I'm not gonna stay in. If it's specs. If it's not if it's non specs, I can stay in. Um that is not assault vest, so it might be specs. So we get the win here in that other game. So this hmm. I really think it's gonna flash Ken here. If I lose this I'm on a really bad position, but I have a Landris. I really think he's gonna flash can here. I'm gonna make a risky play and go for Toxic Spikes as he Volt Switches. That is definitely Specs damage, I think. I don't know why you would Volt Switch. If you predict me to stay in, you would T build. Volt Switch was an odd play. It was really odd. It was risky on my part, but my land was so obvious there. If I go land and I get flashed can, I take 5 million to the face. Um, if I was him, I would have flashed can there every day of the week. But yeah, thankfully he doesn't go for T build. Yeah, that's definitely specs damage. You guys can see that would have done less if it was AV. Even though my pex is a bit more spadef than this spread. So now he's gonna go for Diamond Storm or Off Power. Um, as I go on the Landris here, it covers both. If he goes for um, Moonblast, this guy's Jesus. Yeah, he Power Gem. Fuck. I forgot that this Kanto HO sometimes runs Calm and DNs with Power Gem. So that was a misplay on my end. So I go Majorna here. Oh yeah, he was scouting. Why is he scouting for Scarf when I showed lefties? That was a weird play on his part. Um, so I'm tempted to go for Florican here, but I'll just go back to my Landris. He's probably gonna go for Rocks. Yep, I could have called it and went for Florican, but this is fine. Um, I want to go for U-turn here. Huh. Yeah, I want to go for U-turn here because. Why did he stay in? That's such a bad play. Since I run a lot of speed on my landers, I knew I was faster. So, okay, I should have hp <sighs> Now he's gonna U-turn or something like that. He hp himself. Let's go back to my lander. Now he U-turns. So you guys can say I got played, but I don't like his play. Um, letting his landers get weakened is a misplay in my opinion. So I will just off quickie in case he goes for rapid spin. Actually no, let's not do that. Um this is sash drill. No no he has rocks on I think this is scarf drill. I got a toxic back here if this guy off quicks he's Jesus. He rock slides, so I'm pretty sure he's scarf. So if he's scarf he's gonna off quick here and if he switches he's gonna go to like magnet zone. So I'm gonna try to make a play that covers all options. I don't think I have a play that covers all options, but you only run rock slide if you scarf drill. So what I'll do is um I go on a dragon here. Expecting the magnet zone. And I run a cult if dark pulse kills. Oh fuck. I could have played better, man. I'm getting so mad. Um he's not a salt vest, he's specs. I know it's spread though. Um, Dark Pulse doesn't kill. So I go for Fire Blast here and hopefully connect. Please. If he goes to DNC, he gets poisoned, so I don't mind if he goes to DNC. Please connect this. Um, this lets Gyarados set up, so maybe I shouldn't make this play. <laughs> I can go back to my packs here because he's probably. Oh, fuck! Oh my fucking god! 
That would have died. Now I still have to deal with this annoying Magnus. <sighs> and now he gets to set up, and I have to still deal with this Magnus. This is some bullshit. I don't want to play anymore. Like, I know I like flinch the other guy, but he also hacks me a bit. And the crits on Merrick in the other game, I don't think they matter. Um, he's probably gonna stay in regular form because if he mega has Katana's moves and Lele's moves are super effective. Does this run? Does I forgot. Does this run? Um, does this run Earthquake on this HO team? I mean, this guy obviously might have changed it since he already changed it. Bit of the team, Gera, Gera, Gera. Where's the team? Yeah, he have the Kanto HO team. Yeah, yeah, he changed out the Cortana. Um, it's either Earthquake or Taunt. Fuck. Yeah, I go hard Lily here, I guess. But he's not gonna Mega, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should have psychic. Fuck, but it wouldn't have killed him anyway. Oh, he's moved right. I don't know why he thought he's mega. He has a mega Diancy. He has a mega Diancy. What am I talking about? Fuck. Yeah, see, guys, I'm like. <laughs> no, I'm going insane. I'll probably get like 20 comments about this already. It's fine. So I even look at this team here and look at if it's what set it is, and I still thought it was mega for some reason. Yeah, Leaf Blade here. I'm tempted to SD on a. But it doesn't matter if I SD because he can go uh, and scare me out afterwards. Um, if he flinches or paras me or something. Leaf Blade has like a secondary effect, I think. Yeah, if I didn't miss the Fireblast, I would have been in a super bad position. Yeah, it, it, it could have had a 30% chance to paralyze me. Now you can go to the NC and revenge me or go ninja and U turn if that kills. Yeah, if I'm. Yeah, he can just go go ninja and U turn. Fuck. So now if I go to Pex, he gets his Magnezone in. I'm still gonna make that play, but Magnezone should have been dead. Oh, he makes a misplay in Ice Beams. Amazing. So I really wanna double switch, but I already doubled early on his Magnezone and he stayed in. So I'm just gonna scald. Um, no, I'm gonna double. Now this this guy might predict my double. If he goes zone here, I'm a tough position. So I'm gonna go to high dragon. And if he predicts me, good play. He predicts me. Fuck! He's not scarf. What the fuck is this? This is no set. Now that that now this guy is just bad. What is this? Like I should have. That was my fault for like. Why in the fuck are you? Oh yeah, he's scarf drill. But why in the fuck are you doing Greninja if you're not scarf? What the fuck? I don't want to. I don't even want to play anymore. This is some bullshit. Lolita fucking threw me off there. Like I still was in a good position if he didn't dodge the fire blast. So this is why I should have quit when I had the chance to quit after the last game. If I had shift gimme Jonah, I could have won right here, but alas, I'm AV. Some super bullshit, like what? <sighs> I'm gonna SD up here. Why would you stay in? <sighs> I to be fair, to be fair, it was a fine place staying in, but like. He had no reason to not save this when it literally wins the game. <sighs> so I'm gonna get 20 million dislikes on this video, but I don't give a fuck. This is some bullshit. 
So first this guy dodges Fire Blast. Then he has an onset in U turn Ice Beam Greninja. I should have just Leaf Blade there to be fair. Yeah, I should have just Leaf Blade there. I had no reason to SD. Yes, I agree on that. Yes. But like. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Like, I lose. Like, I lost anyway. I just tried to some SD and power through something. Burn! No justice. So, yeah. There's no justice in the streets. We get a crit there, but it doesn't help me anymore. I'm too low already. I'm not gonna say anything to this guy. But... This is no set. And I don't care if you guys say in the comments that I'm copying Blunder, like I talk like this, let me talk how I want. And this is uh, Fire Blast Dodge and Magnuson sucks. And yes, I misplayed and I thought he was Mega Gyarados, even though he has already built Mega DNC. I don't know what I'm smoking. Um, yeah, it's 8 a.m. now. Uh, yeah, amazing. Congrats. So we're gonna make this a super long episode. The problem, the problem with this is now I might go on tilt and I might keep losing because now I'm mad as fuck. Um, my rank now is 23 and 2, which is, which is still fine, but like, this is just... <sighs> this is just annoying. So what we're gonna do here is, um, we're gonna get up Toxic Spikes. If this... Why? Why? So the last guy, where I thought he was Taunt Greninja, he's not Taunt Greninja. And he turns out to be Ice Beam U-Turn, not Choice Scarf. And now this guy, his team isn't even like full HO, usually you only run this on HO. So he has Lead Greninja. Uh, he has Lead Greninja on bulky offense, interesting. Um, please burn. Please burn. Why is he so bulky? Why is he, is he max HP or some bullshit? So he gets up all three layers. Um, my katana can defog on his Kyurem or on his Landorus. He's gonna he's gonna U-turn. He's gonna U-turn here. Batch five hundred dollars. He's gonna U-turn. Fuck you, wild charge. <laughs> These guys are all tryhards. So I thought, please burn. <laughs> no, okay, phew. Okay, so you guys can like say I made a bad play there, but it worked. Um, we will now go on the Landris here, as this guy's probably mad as fuck that I got the burn. As he's got Giga Volt Havoc here, we look like a god. And I can go for my U turn here, as he has HP eyes. That was definitely, yes, that was an option, but I figured he was gonna switch out there. So um, I unnecessarily let my Landris get weakened. Wait. Should Kalk if this kills. But this doesn't kill, right? Like, I know Katana is frail, but it's not that frail, please. Because he's physical, like, you... Wait, he has 87 to Melanderous. Okay, I'm, I'm, misplay I'm misplaying a fuck a lot now. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, if I get mad, I misplay, like, every turn. And, like, some people in my Discord, that would watch me play and get... Troll me now, that would get triggered. Um... Yeah, he has some sort of special attack investment. Wait, no, 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 this is offensive. This is max HP. Fuck, this guy has a lot of special attack investment. Melanris has like... 381 and 176. Wait. Melanris is 176 per death? Never mind then. Wait, so it's minus... What the fuck is this Landro's nature? Is it minus per death? What? What is going on? Some people are sleeping as well in the house, so they probably woke up already, but I don't know. They're probably mad as fuck at me, but no one hopped in my room yet. So, Ultra Bolts, Ultra Bolts, where's your team? Where's your team? Fuck, I'm so mad now. <sighs> like, I know I didn't play optimal, but like... <laughs> I want to bring you guys the content, but like, it's tough to like do route to top 10 and... and tournament games and concentrate with a little sleep like what this is some bullshit but yeah where's the landers it's lax nature that's why I did so much good god let's see that I don't let's hope I didn't time out so lax nature we still have 60 seconds 
Um, but he still has a lot of special attack investment though. Um, 176, 381. So how much does Katana take from HPIs? Okay, Katana doesn't die, so I'll defog here. Phew. So we figured that out. So this is defensive, so I'll cut SD here. If he U-turns, go play. Good God. I got lucky with the burn and I messed up. <laughs> I didn't think HPS would do that much, but I was minus per death. Hmm. The reason why I didn't go to my Majorna is I want that healthy. I want my Majorna healthy for his, for his cure. Now I just go for my Z-move. Wait, he's Scarf, I just realized that, so he's... I didn't even pay attention, I thought it was defensive. So Leaf Blade might have killed him, but to be fair, I am not. I don't need my Z-move in this game. So using the Z-move there was completely fine. The only way I could use my Z-move was a trend, that's the only one I would speed with this. So I guess I could have saved it. Oh no, I also had speed cure him. Yeah, I guess I could have saved my Z-move, my bad. I should have cocked if Leaf Blade kills, um, but for some reason I thought he was Scarf. Uh, I thought he was defensive. But he was already scarf. Revealed scarf. Yeah, I'm gonna sack this though. Um, no. Second Lando is a better play because Lando dies to everything. If he's max speed trend, that is, Lando outspeeds nothing. So yeah, I could have kept my demo for later, but it's whatever. So I go to Magena here and click Volt Switch. If he predicts that and goes for off power, good play, but I cannot let this heat turn come in for free. Yeah, so now I'm in the driver's seat again, and that does nothing. 16%. So that's the death trend. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the fuck, shaking my head and stuff like that. You guys are shaking your head probably like... I thought he was Mega Gyarados, then I went like one or two plays. Yeah, he's some max for death. Oh, he's AV. Never mind, he took 16. He took a bit more than this. But yeah, he's definitely some sort of spadef turn or AV turn. So I go to High Dragon here. And I can just Dark Pulse here. He should fear the off power, so he should not go into the NC. And Dark Pulse is overall the safest play. If he goes to the NC, this guy's wild. So we get a flinch there, I'm sorry, my man. This guy did not deserve to get hexed, he didn't do anything to me. I burned his Coco and I flinched his Heat Um. But yeah, I'm really mad, so I'm gonna get another game. Like, like we lost points that we shouldn't have lost. <sighs> Just gotta be careful that I don't fuck up. So this guy is 1600, so we will get a good amount of points from him if he wins this. Um, Ajana's a good lead versus him, unless he leads with Heatran. If he leads Heatran or Tangros, that would be annoying, but every other lead, um, Majana, every other Mon Majana leads well against. And of course he leads with Tran because he's God. So this is Rocker. Um, I really want to predict him to go for Rocks, but there's no point in staying in when he has a Tapu Lily. Yeah, should have could have stayed in, but it doesn't matter. Um, I assume he's gonna go on his Tangros here. Um, but I'll just fire off a Dark Pulse, in case he stays in. As what is up with this bulky trend shit? Like, is that like a new trend or something? What is up with low ladder running bulky heat trend? Like, I understand it because um, type of little threat these days. So like, you want something to check that. But like, come on, dude, why are you all using your fat heat trends? Um, so I can. If night slash kills this hard katana, he would be a good play. Uh, if Z night slash kills him. Um, so I should import the team, that's what I should have done ages ago, that would have saved me a lot of time calking. I don't know why I didn't do it. So let me import this team real quick. Good god, I'm mad. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a long episode. <laughs> so Cartana, uh, custom set versus, uh, Tangros, or your assault vest. And, uh, Night Slash does no damage, what? That does nothing. What? Okay, so Cartana is not the play then. The play is just picks and he's gonna knock me here and it's gonna suck and... 
Can I get out my cheese box here? You can go into Zemo Lily here. Yeah, that's why I didn't stay into him on his turn. I need my uh, Magena for Zem and Lily. So this guy starts the timer on me, but now he's the one taking time. To be fair, I just took some time with Kalking, but still. He goes Gyarados, okay. So I expect him to either sub or taunt here. And I'll go hard on my Kartana. As he dragon dances. Why? I could have burnt you, I have haste, that was odd. I mean it makes some sense, but So this is Mega Zem, so this is probably um Sky Strike. Uh, so I'm tempted to switch out here. But he might DD again. And if he DDs again I'm in a really bad position. Um So I'll just um I'll just leave Blade here because he did this. Yeah, he did this again. Like, I wanted to switch out on the Sky Strike, but if he did it again, I would have been fucked. That's why I didn't do it. My Landris is not that good in this game, so I'm tempted to set my Landris here. Was he Intimidate or Moxie? I'm pretty sure he's Moxie. Fuck, Moxie is gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with. Um. Yeah, he's Moxie, so he's gonna get an attack boost. He's gonna be at plus two, even if I set my Landris here. Um, so if he has Earthquake, he's just gonna win the game, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. How much does plus to do to my Katana? Uh, Gyarados. Oh, Dragon Sweeper. So if I lose this game, I have to keep going and get more games because I'm on tilt and shit. Um, Bounce the 78 to 93. So Bounce doesn't kill. So let's say I set my Landrus here. He goes for a Z move. Yeah, he goes for a Z move. He gets a Moxie boost. And that doesn't even kill. Fuck. So I could have used my Landrus to kill this later. Wait! This Fuck! That does nothing! I had to U-turn there! Now I just lose to this. Why did I not U-turn there? If I U-turn there... Then he's a plus two. Okay, that's, that's my chair by the way, if you guys think what that noise is. I'm definitely not like doing what you see. That's definitely my chair. Like I can jump on my chair, you guys can hear it. It's my chair. Yeah, I lose now. I lose. Hmm. Fuck. If I set my Landers here, then he's at plus two. Okay, off quakes. Um. So he's gonna kill me. And now I have to hope that he doesn't get the roll on my katana. Um. Oh, I could have SD'd there, but it doesn't make a difference if I SD. Because I think I'm forced out afterwards. Yeah, he misses. Oh god, I'm lucky and bad. I don't deserve this. Sorry, but... I'm not in control of this. He forfeited. Um, So I'm on tilt. But haven't just graced me with a dodge. So we're gonna take that as an opportunity to get another game. And we face Whale. Um, I don't want to face Whale. So there's a... <laughs> Dude, I would be so mad if I was him. <laughs> to be fair, there was a roll. And if I lived there, my Katana was still alive. And... I still could have won that game, but it would have been a tough one. I mean, the game before... I also got hacked, where I lost. I misplayed a bit, yes. But I also got hacked. Um... So... I guess it kind of evens out, but yeah, if I'm on tilt, I'm not playing optimal, so I maybe should have stopped. But yeah, 25 and 2 is pretty solid. But yeah, let's just leave with Kartana and win the speed tie versus... Okay, he's smarter. He's smarter than that. How much does Sky Strike do to... Um, if he's my Sky Strike, how much does that do to me? Um, Sky Strike kills. So I'm gonna switch out here. He got his rocks up. I'm gonna get my own rocks up. 
You can go hard nine tails here. I really want to double or something. <sighs> I got the lead matchup wrong. Like this guy's a bad win loss, so I thought he would just leave with nine tails. Oh, this is he this is Conkeldo Vale. God, Conkeldo is scary behind wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna have to defog his screens away. I shouldn't have gone for rocks. That was un that was a misplay. Um, I almost said unplay. I'm on smoke twist too much. But yeah, what I have to do here is go Cartana and. Do I die? Maybe I should have cut if I die. Nine tails. Three straight doesn't kill me. So I'll defog here. I go back to Landers here. Fuck, now my katana is getting chipped, so eventually I'm in range from freeze dry. He's gonna get rocks back up here. Um, okay, U turns, that's fine. If I SD'd there, I would have been in a really good position. Maybe I should have SD'd, but I was fearing a sky strike. He's definitely offensive Lander from the damage that he's doing to me. Um, yeah, unfortunate that I hexed that one guy, but yeah. Hex happens on both sides, you can see I got hexed as well. And yeah, I know I didn't play optimal like I said, but if I get hexed, I just get tilted way too easy. That's something I have to like work on. That I don't get triggered and tilted when I get hexed. But yeah, I'll just go back to Cortana here and he freeze dries, makes a good play there. This is speed tie. He shouldn't stay in. Is he scarf? Did he change up moves? Um, he should not stay in here. How much does leaf blade do? I'll just leaf blade here. Yeah, he shouldn't stay in. Um, SDing would have been better, but yeah. Now we find out if he's helmet offensive, but he's not. Um, we can just leaf blade again. He can go into his Majorna here, but that's fine. God, he sacks his land, amazing. So no rocks for him, amazing. So that's a mega tower, I assume. Conkelder, I assume he's gonna knock off a ice punch here. So I got a Toxapex. Yeah, I think he's gonna knock off here. He mag punches. Okay, nice. So this is most likely guts. Oh, it's flame up guts. No, if he has earthquake or some shit, I get blown away. Um, so I go to my landers here. I go to my landers here, even though maybe I should keep it healthy for his choice bandit Tarantar. Oh fuck, not choice bandit for his Megatar. He has facade, that's scary, that's really scary. I'm gonna U-turn here. I'm gonna go to her dragon. Um, maybe Pex would have been the better play. Yes, Pex would have been the better play. I like Ice Punch makes sense there, but like eh. And we are gonna fire blast here. I forgot about Mag Punch, I'm smooth. I should have stopped when I had the chance. I'm just misplaying now. Like I can't, I cannot think clearly anymore. Like I don't know what I'm doing. I just can't think clear. Like what the fuck? Like what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Why did I? I set my high dragon for no reason. Like I should have just gone to packs there instead. I go to high dragon and ice punch, and then I didn't, don't even switch out on a mark punch. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna iron head because I know this is calm mind. <clears throat> yeah. Good god, that does nothing. And he has an Aya Papa berry. That's definitely annoying. So it's probably Z move. Yeah, but Z move Lando, I think, yeah. God, God, I'm misplaying. So after this game, I really hope I can win this. But after this game, I'm definitely going to end it. Uh, because you guys can tell, I've misplayed like three times at least. <clears throat> My Magenna is getting weakened. Uh, which sucks. Don't parrot me. Okay. Which sucks because um, his T-Terra is a threat. And I also let Milano get weakened. Um, 
I think facade kills me, so there's no reason to keep this. And if he double switches, I'm in a really good position. Please connect. Yes, yes, yes. If he veils here, I have to win a tie with Katana to defog the veil. Hmm. I'm just gonna iron hand. Is she? Yeah, I think iron hand is fine. Oh. F I think I should have gone for um. Maybe I should have gone for something else to waste the turn of Aurora Veil. Fuck. If I go to Katana and lose the speed there, then that would have been rough though. Why did I? Why did I set my hydrating? I can't, still don't understand it. Completely forgot about Mug Punch. <laughs> Even though he had already used Mark Punch. <clears throat> so we're gonna Volt Switch. And he's gonna Mega on DD. Fuck. And we're gonna use our Timidate here, but... He's, um... Most likely gonna DD again, so we're gonna U-turn here. If he Ice Punches, yes, that's fine. Good play. But yeah, exactly. If he DDs again, I can U-turn. Get some chip. And I can use my Intimidate again. Um, to sort of cancel out his boosts. So what I'll do is Majorna here, Volt Switch again. If he DDs again, we get another Intimidate. And he just kills me there. Um... Huh, I think I should have just gone Pex and Haze them, to be fair. I go Pex here in case he uh, Ice Punches. Yeah, he did his, I should have just gone Pex and Haze in the first place. So hopefully no crits. Hopefully no crits. Yeah, I need my land for Zyga, what am I doing? Good God. And he crits! So now we lose. I know I have like hexed the last guy, but like... Tyranitar Mega. I mean, this game sucks, you guys can clearly tell. The last guy shouldn't have gotten hexed like that. And. Well. Um, could, does he have to hit the Stone Edge to kill my Tapu Lily? He's at plus one. He does indeed have to hit a Stone Edge to kill my Tapu Lily. So if I dodge, Moonless wouldn't kill him because Veil is up. Um, if I take any damage on Malandris, I think I'll lose to Zygarde. But what what options do I have? Like, like I don't see what play I can make. Like, I just have to crit him here. Crit, crit, crit. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen. Yeah, we lose. Um... If he gets greedy on me and I crit him, I can have a chance, but... <sighs> of course he doesn't get punished for getting greedy. So I sent my Kartana here to get another Intimidate off. How much does plus two doo-doo fucking Lily? Pretty sure it kills. Um, so I can go Lily here and go off a dodge. Because I need health on my Lando. I need health on my Lando for his Zygarde. So my only play here is dodging. If I dodge here, I can win. And there's no justice. Yeah, I can win this. I mean, it was justice for me hexing the last guy, I guess. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna get another one. This episode is gonna be endless. Fucking hate Pokemon. Good God. Like, I'm completely aware of that, like, shouldn't have won the game before that, but, like, come on. Why did this guy say damn? Because I hit the room or because he knows my channel? <sighs> so, 
Is this a uh, spec standard lens? <sighs> I'll just call here. Yeah, he's specs, I think. Cause he's, yeah, he's always oh, life orb, okay. So we get information. I don't know why you would learn life orb. I think specs is better on that thing. So I assume he's gonna like knock off here or something. I try to burn me or get up a. Nah, he should not get up a toxic spike. I'm gonna go hard tapu lily. Um, yeah, knock off is the option. So you can say that was a bad play because I kind of needed that scarf. But this guy is no good side shock switching, so like. Yeah, exactly. He's offensive Cafable. I'll just psychic here. Okay, I'll side shock again in case he's spadef. If he's like max spadef, he can live a psychic maybe. He goes. Why? Why? So now we will find out if he's scarf. He's not scarf. So he lets us. Let, yeah. So we are at the point of the ladder where we face these type of guys. I'm gonna get another one because I'm so fucking mad. I just want points. Like, like I want to get some points off the episode. Like it's not gonna work like this. So we go Landorus here. If he's banned, we're gonna get blown away. <sighs> so this guy is. Yeah, I misplayed with the Veil guy, but I also got hexed. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave Pex. It's over all the safe lead. Where's this guy? Good god, I'm mad. So there is- I don't think that's banned damage. I get my rocks up. I go to Pex here. And... You can go Heart Hydrating here. And fire off a Dark Pulse. Let's hope this guy is not a Spadef Tran. And we can 2k Otis. Uh, why are people on the low ladder every heat in a spadef? What? This guy's even more spadef than the last guy. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what is. <laughs> like, I get it, you're kind of weak to Lily, but if it's all a pummeling or focus blast, you're gonna get blown away anyway. Like, if it's all a pummeling for sure, focus blast, you can live one. So we're gonna go Pex here, he doubles into Lily. We should have gone. Yeah, I should have gone to Magenta there as a mid ground play. Um, there was a misplay on my part. Um, happens. But we can freely Volt Switch here. She predicts me and goes for that. Good play. Good play. I'm fucking mad. Um, we're gonna Scald here. We're gonna not get a burn. We're gonna go back to Lily. And in this game I can go to Kartana here and SD up. Uh, Zapdos is too healthy for that, so let's not do that. But I'll go Katana to threaten him out. And yeah. Guess I'll just leave bait in case he stays in. I know he would go to Zapdos, but like. It's low ladder, dude. Like, I have to play somewhat safe. Um, since my Hydreigon is toxic, this is gonna be rough. I, sh I wanted to double in Hydreigon, but then I was like, I'm toxic, so like, what? Um, yeah, I don't think I can kill this, so you can just root spam and toxic stall me. Unless I flinch him. And I could not go for Draco since he has a Lily, exactly. Um. Majena's probably gonna get 2 KO'd here. He doubles into Greninja. Um, I'm gonna floor. He's either gonna spike or go turn. I don't think I have any information about this Greninja yet. Um, so I have Flur here. Should have you turned. He goes to Mew, so that's fine at least. At least he didn't go to Trend, is what I'm trying to say. If he went to Trend, I would have lost all momentum and stuff. So, yeah, well, it was me. I just wanted to get a slow Volt switch. Um, so I can go Hydra here and click Dark Pulse again, but my Hydra is getting worn down. 
I need rocks up to bring his Zapdos. Oh, he sacks it. Nice. I need rocks for his Zapdos to kill it with Kartana at plus two with Z move. <sighs> so we know he's gonna U turn here or some bullshit. And not having Toxic on Toxic is really annoying. Good Toxic for Zapdos would be fire. He's Magma Trap, but he's Spadef, so like, what is he gonna do to me? Is he Spadef, Taunt, Toxic, Magma, oh, he's sub. Good lord, this guy is a wild one. Oh fuck, I should have recovered there. So I just sank my pegs. I did not think he would be that sad. Um, yeah, I misplayed. I, th I, th I expected him to taunt me, that's why I didn't recover. I shouldn't have stayed in, but since he's Spadef, I didn't know he would be that sad. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say. I just didn't think it would be that sad. Like, what? <laughs> so now he just goes and his Zapdos on my rocks. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like... <laughs> like, I lose. Yeah, goes Zapdos on my rocks. Like, I have no play. Yeah, he HBIs this, but that's fine. Because he didn't default. Um, now I'll Draco. Just in case he defogs. As that kills, amazing. So at least my rocks stay up. Phew, 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 phew. Um, so since I lost my packs, um, is he gonna U turn here? The only thing I would speed is a C turn. So I think I'll sack just to get momentum back. I know he gets his Ashram, and this is gonna be a big threat. But I have my, um, I have my Psychic Terran, my Scarf Lady, so I can still check him. Like Water Shuriken is not gonna be the biggest deal and he goes to this and what I can do here is go to Lele and I can fire off a side shock um, I'm actually gonna Moonblast just in case he goes into Greninja um, yeah I don't know why he went here and he would have gotten 2 KO by side shock it was a fine play by him, but like if he goes Greninja there, I get completely destroyed, so I think I had to make that play. Um, so now I lose a mon. I think I lose this game, yeah. He doubles for no reason when he had a free Magma Storm. Interesting choice. These guys, these players, dude, like I don't even want to play anymore. Like, why did you double there? Like, fuck. Can Lily even take a hit? I don't think Lily can switch in. Because I want to keep this as fodder, but I don't think I can. Yeah, Lily can take a hit. So I know it's a bad play, but I go hard Lily here. It does 5 bajillion. And I'll side shock here. Because if he stays in, that's no play staying in. Um, so he sacks off his Lele. Goes to Keldeo. He scarf Keldeo the way he brings it in. Um, so Magiana can... I was about to say it can take two Skulls, but I can take two Pumps. Um, I don't know what Bloom is going to do, but I'm going to haze him. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Fuck! So he has to hit a thing. A Volt Switch here. As he dodged. Nice, nice, nice. So basically, you guys can see if I get hexed, I lose. If I hex them, I win. So, like, this is not the best life I'm messing up. Um, Katana can live a pump, right? I know Katana is frail, but the Scarf Keldy, come on. Um, yeah, we can live a pump. Nice. Night Slash should be able to do 12%, yes. Um, but I would speed his heat drain so I don't lose anything from Leaf Blading here. So I think I won because I hexed him, poor, poor guy. Oh, this guy's gonna SD up, so I'm gonna go hard Lele. I see Bullet Seeds, okay. I guess that was a misplay on my part. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Magiana does nothing, so I think I can set Magiana. Fuck, this is a 50-50 kinda. If I side shock, I lose. Yeah, I should have made a different play. So if he doubles back here, yeah, he gets a kill. But I need this mon, so I cannot afford I have to go lander here. I think he's gonna double back. He subs, okay, fuck. But he's slow trend, so I might be faster. Yeah, okay, few. So now I go Kartana and I click my Z move. Fuck, I'm timing out! I had to click a random button because I'm timing out. <laughs> Good lord. This is why you don't play two games at once. Yeah, um, yeah, so if you guys... Like, I know I didn't play optimal in this episode, like I said, like I mentioned. Well... If you hit me with the thumbs down, you hit me with the thumbs down. I cannot do anything about it. But now I'll go into this and least split shit kill. Katana versus Breloom. Uh, I'm going on my Z move. I don't know if this leaf blade would kill him. It's a roll, and my timer is so low that I don't want. I don't think I have time to calc it. So we kill his Tenacruel. We kill his Heatran here, and we win with Scarf Lily. Um, this game I shouldn't have won. I locked him. So unfortunate. Yeah, I should not have won this game. But to be fair, um, when I'm on tilt, I don't play optimal. So like, I should have stopped this. Should have stopped. I should have stopped ages ago. But my record is, my record is um, looking. Considering that I played like not optimal, my record is still pretty nice. Twenty six and three, and if I win this, twenty seven and three. It's looking like I can win this for sure. So that's pretty nice record considering how I played. <laughs> but God. I played like complete trash in like two of these games. Maybe even three. Yeah, it's like like I said, I have to work on not getting on tilt not going on tilt when I get hexed a bit. Uh, yeah, this team is also not made by myself, so like if I teams that I make myself like I'm more comfortable with to be fair. I feel bad for those two guys that are hacks, but that one guy also hacks me, so it kinda evens out. Um, I actually hex, yeah, yeah. Like one game the hex was kinda evened out, but. Like I should have played a bit better with that one guy that crit me with HPIs on the tank, but tank on my landers. I played like kinda poor with that guy. So, like, since I'm on tilt, I'm not gonna get another one. I'm really tempted to get another one, but the video's already. <coughs> This is gonna take three or four hours to upload at least because my internet is really bad. Um, I don't think Scarf Corruptor can. I don't think Scarf Corrupt. <laughs> why can I not talk? I don't think Scarf Star Raptor can kill me. And I also can't kill him, so there's no point in staying in, I guess. Uh, so I can sack this, but he turns for some reason. I guess he bricked up my Magina. Yeah, no, his play makes sense somewhat, but like... I should have this game right. In power eyes. I not... Oh, he speed boost. He's not tinted lens. That's why. That's why I didn't go for bug bus or something like that. So you can flinch me here technically. Or I can like not wake up. Oh yeah, I didn't, um, didn't burn that many sleep turns. So I go Magina here and click Volt Switch as he U-turns. Should have gone to Magenta earlier, but it's whatever. <laughs> My man Ultra Beast is gonna be mad that I played like shit in this. Ultra Beast? Did I say Ultra Beast? I meant Ultra Balls. Yeah, I'll show you guys his RMT in one second. Let's go to forums. Um, Let's go to rate my team. And yeah, here it is. He peaked number seven. He has his RMT. Uh, yeah, he peaked 1959 with this. And he went, got the top 10. Got a team analysis here. Ba, ba, ba. 
This version is with Mega Gyarados, like I said. I've already mentioned that there's two versions. Uh, the Mega Gyarados version might have been a bit better actually in the one game versus the Mega Gyarados user because then I could have had the Mega Gyarados version would have been super good. Was the was this, I think was the Veil guy would have been good. I mean, was the Veil guy also choked? Um, but it would also would have been nice to have a version like that because Intimidate Shuffle for Tyranta. If I had double Intimidate Shuffle, that would have been really nice. And also, if I had um. What should we call it? Was there one guy with DD Gyarados? Um, would have been nice to have another Intimidate user because Mega Gyarados is super bulky, so it would have been able to take a hit from from his bounce Gyarados, and I would have been able to kill him with Crunch, I think. So yeah, it would have been super nice if I actually had that version. So in this, he is imp he is impish, but in the import that I have, I'm minus per death on the land. I should probably change that. Um. I mean, I can still use this for Intimidate Shuffle, I guess. I don't think it matters what I do here, because... Majorna eats every hit. And just Volt Switches. I don't want to miss a Flurkin, that's why I'm Volt Switching. Even though he lived that, um... Now I go to this, and you turn out, and then I win with my... Okay, he switches. You get an unfortunate crit there, that doesn't matter though. And I want to end this off with hydrate. <laughs> but yeah. What do you mean would have won? So people like him... Um, he definitely wouldn't have won, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Um, but yeah, I can show you guys my rank. Um, yeah, considering, like I said, like I played like, I play, like trash some games, um, but... 27 and 3 is given how I played and stuff and that I'm on tilt, it's still pretty solid. I know I hacked something guys. I'm repeating myself. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um if you want to see the series continue, smash the like button because my focus is gonna be on tournament games. That's why there has not been a uh, road to top ten in a few days. And also Yeah, I was pretty busy the last days. I think yesterday there was no upload of a rock mm -hmm. But the uh, day before that I had like four uploads, so like or five. Like, I try to, like, make up for it. If I don't upload one day, I will go wild the next day and upload a lot. Um, I know it might be better to have, like, a specific time every day to upload. But I, I record the tournament games when I feel like it and then I just upload them when I'm... When I'm, like, when I'm in the mood to record them, I just push out the content. So, like, it's hard for me to, like, set a specific time. Um, if my channel gets bigger, I know in the long run it's probably smarter to have specific upload times. I'll work on that. And, yeah, if you guys are, like... Good with thumbnails. Hit me up. Like if I want like a, like a specific. Like I know I'm already good at some good at thumbnails. I, I said good. I'm like not good, but I'm pretty good with thumbnails already. But if you have like um, if you can like, if you wanna make me like a goat, what you might call it, my man um, my man the common dude um, I hit him up once, but I think I have to hit him up again for like um a thumbnail like design for my road to top ten series. That would be really cool and it would have made me even more as well to record. But yeah, this was a mess, dude. Like, good god, I played like trash some games. I'm sorry, UB. Um, thank you guys for watching. Link to UB's RMT and to the team is gonna be in the description. And I might also link his YouTube. And yeah, peace out, guys. I'm sorry for not playing optimal, but it's early in the morning and. I just. I get mad and tilted way too easily. I know I have to work on this. If you want to give me a thumbs down because you don't like it, g go ahead. Like, <laughs> I think I put in a lot of work for you guys, and I don't like. I don't think I deserve a thumbs down. Like for this video, maybe because I got mad for no reason, and then I started misplaying. But like, oh yeah, 16 speed, and the version that I had, he had 12 speed. So he has a threat list here and everything. You guys can check out his RMT, like I said. Uh, yeah, have a fantastic day. There might be one or two tournament uploads later. Um, I missed ulti late yesterday. There will gonna be replay. I'm gonna record the replay for that. And but I also have ulti live series from the last round still that I'm gonna have to upload. Have a fantastic day and peace out. <laughs> I'm just so mad that I have to rent a bit or like keep talking a bit. Bye.